All right, so in today's video, we're going to be doing more interior stuff. Um, I'll show you what I got in a second. But So if you've seen my previous videos, you've seen that I did the Alcantara e-brake boot and the shift boot, as well as this carbon fiber uh, shift bezel. Now, if you look over here, you can see the dashboard kind of transfers into this top piece of the door card. Um, and this used to be the fact, like what the factory dashboard looked like, but now it's um, flocked, so it's kind of a suede ish material. And I found some stuff online. It's a uh, suede vinyl wrap, and I'll show you that in a second. But I'm going to try to wrap this part of the door card in that suede vinyl wrap. And then I'm also, this piece of the door card is going to be in carbon fiber. And I'm going to make this little plastic handle carbon fiber. And then I'm going to repaint this. Um, this uh, switch thingy with the same color as that switch panel right there. Uh, those are all going to be in different videos, but I'm just going to take the door card apart, pull off the pieces I need, um, and I just want to pull the door card off so that I can maybe wrap the vinyl around the edges because I'm kind of afraid it's not going to stick that great. So I think that'll make it easier for it to stick good. All right, so this is the real Alcantara. Um, that's what my shift boot and e-brake boot are made out of. And then this is the suede vinyl wrap that I got. Uh, they're very similar in feel. Um, this one's a little bit more felt-like, I would say. And there's a slight color difference. This is a little darker. But um, this is going to be next to my dashboard, which is a little darker than this stuff anyways. So it should match perfectly fine. Now, this stuff is from Vivid. It's a, it's a vinyl wrap company. I was buying a bunch of uh, headlight tint. So I seen that on there, and I figured I'd try it out. So these pieces are, um, these are called plastic rivets and basically when they make the mold of this plastic piece, it has a stud that sticks out and then they just melt it and it kind of makes the shape and it holds it together. Now you can just cut these with some like a knife or some diagonal cutters, but I'm gonna try to melt them. So I already started on one of them. This is a soldering gun uh, and you just melt the edges towards the center and then use a flathead and pry it up. And then uh, this piece is, uh, got some 3m tape underneath it so i just need to pry that up uh and then this little bit should come out and we can get to uh cleaning it up and seeing what we need to do to get some carbon fiber on it and just like that rivet pops out so I'm just gonna go around the whole thing and repeat that process. All right, that was not easy to get out, but it's out. Uh, and as you can see, it's uh, like a fabric with kind of a squishy feel to it. So it's got like some foam and the leather. Uh, so I'm gonna peel this off. So I think I'm gonna basically use this as like a template to lay the carbon fiber on, um, get an idea of how big I need to make it. Now I'm going to just scratch up the surface with some 120 grit just to give the epoxy something to bind to. All right, so now that it's sufficiently uh, what they call keyed up, scratched up with the 120 grit, I'm gonna start mixing up some resin and I'm gonna put some of this uh, black pigment in there just so, cause we're only using one layer of carbon fiber just cause this is a skinning project. So uh, sometimes you can see through the carbon fiber, so you don't want to see this like scratched surface, I guess. Um, it is black, so it shouldn't matter, but I'm just, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put um, some pigment in there just so the base um, epoxy layer is black, so you can't see through it. And this is a good little trick. So cheap paint brushes. Um, some people say don't use these because the hairs fall off in your part, and that's very true. 
but I learned this trick from uh, YouTuber Street Bandito where you just take some super glue and you put it on the very like base of the hairs and you let it dry and this makes it so that none of the hairs fall out and in my last part this technique worked really well so you can see it's wet um, that'll dry up and it'll lock all the bristles in good technique We're gonna let this sit for about two hours um, to the point where it's tacky, where you can touch it and it's sticky, but the glue doesn't come off on your finger. While that's uh, tacking up, I'm gonna cut the fibers the length I need. So I got this panel out right here and uh, I'm working on that carbon fiber right now, but while that's going, I'm going to try and get this wrapped on there. So I cut a piece out that's the right size. Okay, so this is tacked up just right where it's sticky. It doesn't stick to my hand. Now we're gonna lay the fiber on here. And I'm gonna try to get it to be straight-ish. So it's all pressed down, weaves all consistent. I got it, uh, I cut the edges right here with the tape to give it some extra flexibility so that I could tuck the fibers around and so far they're sticking. So hopefully they continue to stick. If they don't, we'll figure that out later. But this uh, is working pretty good so far. So far so good, now I gotta let this dry up and then we can put a layer of uh, epoxy on top of it. All right, so uh, I did most of the tucking and stuff. Uh, it came out okay. Uh, I probably could have done a better job, and I'll probably do a better job on the other ones. Uh, and if I don't end up not liking this, I'll, I'll take it off and try it again. There are a few, um, like, seams and stuff. I tucked it behind the best I could, but there are a couple seams. Uh, just because it's a thick material, and it's hard to get around these, like, weird curves and stuff. But all the, um, all the creases, you're not going to see, like, in the car. So this is covered by the dashboard. The dashboard comes up to here. And then this obviously is in the door jam. So uh, if you just look at it from the surface, it looks fine. And I, this seems all nice because I tucked it behind this piece. And I also repainted this trim piece. So the base tacked up nicely. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the first layer of clear epoxy on there. So I did run into one little issue, um, you could probably see it, but on this little edge right here, when I tucked it into the corner, it created like a, 
I guess a pressure area and it lifted the fibers off the base in this spot right here. Um, and this is why I'm practicing with this because now I know um, not to tuck that edge until this part's fastened down. Um, so I'll do that on the next one. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this one to work. Um, I think if the fibers have resin underneath them, it should work fine. Uh, and it shouldn't cause any weird um, looks when it's in the car because that part's going to be right up here. So it should be fine. We'll see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out good, I'll buy another piece. I don't care. So, um, so yeah, let's let this dry. Uh, I'll come back in eight hours and see what it looks like. So the surface is all keyed up and uh, it's ready to put a layer of epoxy on it. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now we're just gonna let this dry for two hours and then we're going to put on another layer. So the third coat of resin is on and dried completely. Now what I'm going to do is wet sand it and see if I want to put another coat of resin on there, which I probably will end up doing, um, just seeing what I see at the moment. If it came out good after wet sanding, then I would just leave it, but uh, it looks like I'm going to have to do some extra stuff. So let's get into it. All right, so I just got some 2000 grit sandpaper right here. Yeah, so already it's looking like I got quite a bit of uh, pinholes and stuff like that, so I probably will have to do another coat of resin. I'm gonna sand this at 500 grit, get it all flat and smooth, and then we'll put one more thin layer of epoxy on top of it. Final layer of epoxy going on. All right, guys, so it's time to do the final wet sand and polish. I'm actually gonna try starting with 2500 grit this time, and see if that works. Um, if it doesn't, I'll go down to 2000, but we'll give this a shot. All right, so this is by no means perfect, but that's why we're practicing. Uh, this is what I came out with. So far, it looks pretty good. You can still see there's a lot of uh, 
lines and stuff in it but that's when you look at it in direct light if you look at it in anything it looks pretty good it looks shiny it looks like carbon fiber uh that crease is still there but um overall good appearance the next one i make will be better i promise it so uh this is a stepping stone in the journey to perfect carbon fiber part all right now i'm gonna get this installed and put everything back together off camera and i'll be back when all right so here is the finished product it looks way better in the car than it did when it was uh out of the car um but i mean you can see that the fit up's not great it's not bad um but since this piece is supposed to be like foam and fabric it's supposed to conform to all these edges so it fits better but overall it's pretty good um you can see a gap up here but when you're sitting in the car you can't really see it unless you get like underneath um but other than that it looks really good um finish came out nice the suede up top here came out really nice um you can see there's like wrinkles in here but when you have the door closed that goes right here so let me show you inside the car so we got it right there it's a little dark in here suede it blends in with the flocked dash very nicely and then we got this carbon fiber here and the alcantara so far this interior is coming together real nicely uh, all i got to do is all the rest of these doors um so i hope you enjoyed that video uh stay tuned and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more carbon fiber stuff um i'm going to be doing like actual carbon fiber parts not just skinning stuff so um subscribe hit the bell It'll, you'll be notified when those new videos have come out so if you like the video please leave a like down below if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing if you know somebody who might like this video as well uh please share it with them so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace